Hi, Crazy. Hey, Mark. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. How about you? I'm great. You want to introduce us to your friend here? This is... Scooter. Hey, Scooter. Hey. How are you? I'm all right. Is your, is your boyfriend now crazy? We got together on Christmas. Yeah. I approve of Scooter much more than your the last guy I found you with. <laughs> that was just a road dog. Um, he... Coyote. Coyote crazy got some crazy stories to tell that guy uh yeah I, I didn't i didn't feel good about letting you walk out the room with him but you were with him you came with him you left with him. yeah um did you travel with him at all i did you know how he said um he he's never done any drugs in his life but he pushed him um so i i smoked crack with him for his first time at the hop out and uh, he was like, I'm going to have you, I'm going to show you like the ropes, how to ride the right way. And he, uh, he's like, I'm going to toughen you up. And he, he ended up just breaking me down. He uh, made me choose all the rides. And if I chose the wrong ride, he got mad. Um, I took, so from Colton, I finally got us a good ride. <laughs> and um, um, so we were going through uh, Arizona and I'm like, we're like on a pig with wings and I'm like, man, this is like boring. Um, and I had acid. Middle of the desert. Yeah, middle of the desert. And I'm like, I wanna do acid. So, me, I gave him a tab and I did a tab. That was my first time tripping on acid on the train. And I would have rather it had be with someone else, but it's, okay, this, this is gonna be a gross fucking part. Um, so I was sitting on this pig with wings tripping, you know, and like, I'm just looking at, you know, like the scenery. And then um, I look over and he's like, look over there, look at that cloud. And then, and then uh, he's, and then uh, I look and then I'm, and he's like, oh, I just, I, I busted a fat ass nut ran away everywhere. And I was like, gross the fuck out. And I went back on my side and stayed there and was like, fuck. <laughs> And you met Scooter, Christmas, uh, you said Christmas? Well. So um, <laughs> I was in Eugene um, and I was trying to hop out. And so I like stumbled across her TikTok or something one day. And so I found her Instagram uh, and I hit her up and was just asking like, hey, you ever hopped out of Eugene? Uh, and <laughs> she didn't. Um, but I didn't even end up hopping out of Eugene. Um, this very, very kind woman uh, bought me an Amtrak ticket. Um, and so then I rode Amtrak uh, back to the East Coast, basically. Um, and then that whole Amtrak ride, I was just talking to her. We, and then after that, it was just a daily thing over the phone. And I was always far. Um, you know, I work a lot. I try to. Um, so finally, I found a gig up in Tahoe. Um, and then I was over it and I hit her up and told her I'm coming down. And then we were together for a few days and then got together on Christmas. That's like, great. Officially. And like my mom's birthday was Christmas Eve. Yeah. <laughs> and we brought like a bunch of train kids, dirty kids. <laughs> dirty kids to her house. Was and it was funny. My mom's psycho. You should do an interview with her. <laughs> no, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to last a second. <laughs> so, Scooter, you uh, you grew up where? Uh, New York, um, about the eight four five area, so like right above North Jersey, mm -hmm. um, and then moved down to Bergen County. Uh, had a pretty normal childhood. Um, then I started doing drugs, uh, and then dropped out of high school. Um, and then just kind of booked it to New York City. Um, and then 
whatever, was bumming it around, jumping on friends' couches, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I found out about seasonal work and that kind of stuff. Started doing that a little bit and then met some train kids one day and they got me on a train. Do you like this lifestyle? I do. Um, you know, there's some very harsh realities that hit me uh, just this past year, a lot of dead friends and that kind of stuff. Um, but I wouldn't trade it for the world, you know? There's, there's so much that I've seen and so much that I have yet to see and so much more to do. Um, I've met some of the coolest people ever. I met her. Um, you know, this, this life is harsh, but uh, it's freeing and, you know, I, it's, that's it, it's freedom. How old are you? So 21, just turned 21, 21 on the 28th. You're a kid. Yeah, I am, yeah. Um, and that's, you know, I've been told like, oh, you're, you're in for it. Like there's a lot that I've yet to experience myself and, you know, I'm sure a lot worse is coming. Um, but I'm a, I, I can't stay in one spot anymore. I kind of start losing my mind a little bit, you know? Um, you too. And so, yeah, I don't ever see myself stopping uh, this kind of life. Uh, but obviously, um, I do work and stuff. I do try and keep my brain, uh, you know, secure. Uh, uh, but you know how it is. What, what, what is it about the train hopping lifestyle that appeals to you? Well, um, <laughs> you know, I obviously have struggled with mental illness like my whole life. Um, you know, depression, anxiety, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I've been therapized my whole life. Um, and the second I started like moving around, uh, I was in the best place I've ever been. You know, I've gotten jumped, I've gotten robbed, I've almost gotten stabbed. I've, you know, there's a bunch of horrible things that have happened to me, but throughout all that, I've seen that I've just been happier you know, um, more secure in myself and who I am. When you're on the move. When I'm on the move. And when I'm on a train, there's, I can't even explain it. It's like zen. It's, 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 there's, then my brain is just, my mind is blank and I'm just enjoying the ride. And when I'm with people, it's amazing. We're all just, you know, we're all on the same wave. We're all kind of out here for the same reasons and stuff. And it's just been such an amazing, you know, time. I, I, I can't believe I didn't know about traveling, you know, in the past. How many states have you been to? Uh, basically everywhere but Alaska and Hawaii. Really? Um, I've skipped the Dakotas. Cause I don't know many people 21 years old that have seen the entire country. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's the thing. And there's still so much. I haven't seen like the Grand Canyon and I haven't, you know, like I've blown through a bunch of these places, but I, you know, I got a lot of stuff I want to do and a lot of places I want to go back to. I loved Savannah, Georgia. It was like the best place I've ever been to. It's beautiful. The man. Oregon coast is, uh, oh my God, like all of this. I grew up in, you know, the middle of nowhere. And it was like, this is, it's just, everything's been so different. It's been amazing. It's a great country. It is. It's a beautiful country. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful country. I wouldn't put us at a great, you know, overall, but when it comes to the geographical stuff, it's, it's unbeatable. Yeah. I mean, we have lots of problems too, but. <clears throat> right. You know, but when you're on a train, you're seeing stuff that is only possible by train or by plane or something, you know, like a lot of these rails are running through places that are completely untouched by man in the middle of nowhere. Like just you and the conductor. Yeah. And then you'll side out somewhere and it's just, you're literally in the middle of nowhere. How, how do the train conductors or the train people feel about you guys stealing a ride? Some of them hate us. Some of them love us. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, I've been, I, was given like hygiene packs and waters and cigarettes by like the UP guys. Um, but on the East Coast, the CSX yards and stuff, they're a little more uh, on top of things, you know? Like uh, I've never gotten pulled off a train, um, but I know people on the East Coast that have gotten, you know, like mandatory seven days and stuff, like 
just for being in the yard, not even on a train. So, but most of them think it's kind of cool. And if you talk to them and you're not a dickhead, you know, and you're not wasted or something, um, most of them will tell you where the train's going and wave you goodbye, basically. What would you like to be doing in like five, five or 10 years with your life? Uh, hopefully I'm still around. Um, I'm working real hard to stay off of everything that can kill me. Um, but I hope to just be a veteran traveler, you know, get really good at the rails. Um, I'm still kind of green when it comes to riding, so. No, but if you love traveling, there's all kinds of ways you can travel. Right, no, I know, but I hate hitchhiking. Um, yeah, me too. And no, but there are, there are automobiles, there are motorhomes, Yeah, well, I airplanes. actually, I currently own a vehicle. Um, I was working in New York and saved up and whatever. So um, I got a vehicle, uh, which has been honestly hard. Um, I have to make money now, no matter what. <laughs> Welcome to um, yeah. being, being a responsible citizen. No, I, I know, but I'm uh, an unresponsible citizen. You know, that's what I do. And so like having this has been, it's been killing my bank and it's been um, a little stressful. And I, you know, I drink and stuff. So it's kind of hard to keep myself in a good state of mind and the so do you, proper do you, to drive. Do you, pro do you have problems with alcohol or drugs? Um, with alcohol, yeah. Um, but I'm like a year clean off of opiates and stuff. Um, maybe a little more. I stopped counting. Um, but yeah, alcohol. I smoke a lot of weed. Um, and you know, I'll partake in some shit sometimes. But yeah, I do struggle with substance abuse. Just be careful with the fentanyl. Well, that's the opiates is a, it's, I'm done with that. I'm good. Uh, I've been off of it. I don't even think about it. Some not, days. not that crack or meth are okay, but. Right. Well, I mean, crack's crack. But, but fentanyl, it's, a, it's like. Look, I'm still on the crack tour for rah, rah, bro. <laughs> crack is as crack is crack. I, I, I started using meth, um, at the age of 12, um, I didn't even know it was meth. I thought it was a weird way of smoking weed. Um, yeah. So I was hooked on that for a bit. And um, uh, yeah, uh, I've been clean for two years off that, since I relapsed at least, you know. Um, I hate meth. <laughs> Um, but to each their own. I hate fentanyl. It's killed so many of my friends. Um, yeah. Just the other, like, when was it, Tim? When um, I texted you after that shit? You did just recently, right? Yeah. Um, it was probably a week before Christmas. So. It was like when I was still texting him. Yeah. Um, so, um, I was with, uh, I had a, a greenhorn with me and um, I took her from, uh, I don't know if you remember, like when I said I was gonna go see um, my sister's kids. Well, I met Coyote and ended up hopping out with him instead. So um, we're, gonna go that. we're still gonna do that yet. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. So, um, my friend, um, you interviewed her. We, uh, she went to go. Indy. Indy, yeah. Um, she went to go um, pick up. I took this girl, um, Rose, on um, a train for her. She's never been, like, you know, like, traveled, really. Um, she was just kind of always, like, in her house. And um, I took her from KC um, after I saw my ex that had gotten shot. Um, I promised him, you know, after Ra Ra's funeral, I'm gonna come back and see you, you know? So um, did that, uh, got her on her first couple trains from KC and then she lost her sleeping bag. So we were sharing her sleeping bag on a train my sleeping bag on a train. And then um, 
We stopped off in Amarillo, went to a Walmart. I got her a sleeping bag and uh, it was snowing. And um, we rode all the way from Amarillo back to here. And then, um, yeah, so uh, after like seeing all that, I think she's done with the road. <laughs> So um, we were um, at MacArthur Park. She picked up um, some fit and um, I was like I'm telling myself and Rose. And she was texting me saying that she feels like she's gonna be doing it. Uh, and that's how I was immediately concerned after that. Uh, um, so I... <laughs> Uh, she started smoking it and it looked like China white from the East Coast. And um, I was just like, mm, I, I, can I have a hit? So started hitting it with her. And um, I, I guess what, from what Rose told me, I dropped my phone and started turning blue. And then, um, they poured water on me and um, I woke up because they Narcan me twice. Um, I only, I told Indy where my Narcan was and then the other dude, I guess, like was taking forever to find his Narcan, but finally found it. And then um, the, yeah, the ambulance awesome. showed up, paramedics, just whatever, showed up right after. I was already like awake and they're like, like all I know is they had to help me up and Rose told me that the ambulance were making fun of me and stuff. Um, and they uh, like helped me to MacArthur Park and I was just crying and throwing up because when I OD'd, all I saw was blackness. And that was my first time ever overdosing. So yeah, you mess around with that drug. You're gonna... It was scary. And I, yeah, I just, I, it was just, I was going through so much emotional and physical pain. I just, it took it away. Hmm. So, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to do Fent ever again. Um, same thing with computer cleaner. Like that shit is retarded. Um, yeah. All of all of these drugs are retarded. But we all do them to try and <laughs> yeah, <my bad>. erase <laughs> our our fucked up memories and take the pain away, but psychedelics are where it's at. Mm. See, from my point of view, um, it was terrifying because I was like eight hours away. Um, she had said like, you know, she's she thinks it's gonna be difficult not to smoke, you know, whatever. Um, and then all of a sudden, like, she just stopped responding for like four hours. Um, and then, you know, I'm an anxious person, so I immediately assumed the worst. I thought she was dead in MacArthur Park. Um, Wouldn't that be the worst? You heard crazy fucking OD'd in MacArthur Park. Yes, How lame would that that's be? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, like, fuck, and it, it it was fucking with me. And then all of a sudden, like, she just texts me and she's like, yo, like, I just died. And I, <laughs> I had no idea what she meant. And then explained everything that was going on. And then just kind of acted like it didn't happen after that. We stopped talking about it, um, you know, because it is a real rough thing to go through. Um, I've had Narcan people. It's same. no yeah. joke. Um, yeah, it's not a good life. Yeah, yeah, no. Where, where do you guys go from here? What are your plans? So we're gonna go, out, I have uh, some seizure, I've been taking seizure medications because um, I've been having a lot recently. And um, so I've got to do some like, like a neurologist appointments and stuff like that um, before I leave. So that's gonna take a couple weeks, um, maybe a few and then still dying to get out of here but after that we're gonna go to my sister's house and then i think that's go to florida 
Oof, Florida's rough. If you it, if it's eighty degrees in Florida. Yeah, it's it's cool, but roughing it in Florida is a little dangerous. Really? Uh, oh yeah. I mean, compared to you know, uh, Florida, LA is tame, but it depends where you're at. You know, like just don't hang out in Miami. Or <laughs> My, I was about to say Miami. Yeah, no, <laughs> just stay away from there. If you don't have like military training. Uh, it's hard to camp it in, in Florida. Is that right? Yeah. It's just the weather, the rain, the boot rot, and, you know, it's... Trench it's, foot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wet over there, so... But I really like Georgia. I, I like the southeast. It's, you know, I grew up on that coast, so... Um, but I just... Once I get to, like, Savannah, I just start heading back up, and then that's it, you know. Florida's for the rich folk. Mm. <laughs> All right. Crazy. Scooter, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Mark. I'm glad you're both okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful future ahead of you. Thank you. I All right, you guys. Thank you very much. So, too. Be careful out there. We will. <laughs>